Oh ho 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 ho! Three days in a row! Three days in a row! They said it wasn't possible! They said, Simon, you're mad! Simon, you shouldn't do it! Simon, it's probably not good for your health! <laughs> uh, hello once again, YouTube! Welcome back to the Domain! It's one of, I think, one of the best um, sets ever made, period. It's, it's so good, and it's always a real pleasure to be able to build one of these um, on stream, or just in general, I always have a great time building these. Now, before I give some shout-outs to whoever's tuning in today, I gotta change the music, because yesterday I got a copyright strike for using Halo 3 music! A copyright strike for Halo 3, can you imagine a copyright strike for Halo 3 music? So we're gonna pump out some reach for now. Can you have a copyright strike for Halo 3 music? What has the world come to? So let me know if you want the uh, music louder or quieter throughout the stream. And um, yeah, howdy everybody. Welcome back to day three of the stream. I see some people that have been here all three days. Let me know, shout out if you've been here all three days. We uh, have done, yeah, this is our third day streaming. Um, two days ago, we did the uh, Unicy Countdown, and then yesterday we did a double whammy, the Snowbound Battlescape and the Versus Snowbound set. And the Versus Snowbound set and Snowbound Battlescape, if you didn't watch that um, live stream, you should check it out because it's so goofy. Um, literally, it, it, it's, it's such a ridiculous stream. So, um, yeah, good to see everybody. I'm, a, I'm about to uh, shout everybody out. Just making sure I got all my little, my chat box seems to be a little small, the, the text seems to be like baby size. Let's uh, pump up the text size, see what happens. Ooh, let's take it right up, let's see what happens. Okay, um, Josiah Customs, the Janus Key Project, Phase Drud, Magnum 97, the Masters of Motion, Tolson Tub, Phase Drud. Hey, Atomic Motion, day, day, three days straight, baby! Three days straight, baby! Uh, yeah, atomic Motion, five dollars, my man! My man! Five dot three days straight, baby, you! Um, and also, this is, um, uh, quite a bit different, the stream, because look how organized I am. Oh my goodness. I have done a piece check. I found the three pieces that were missing, I went in the attic, and I found all the pieces. So we are laughing. We don't have to do any of the big work. Not only is everything already pre-organized, I've also, you know, oh wait, no, hide delay. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's hide. No, we don't want a delay, do we? Zero second delay. And let's make the font size even bigger. Um, so yeah, we thank you very much for the donation, Atomic Motion, much, uh, much appreciated. Um, Three days straight of streaming, three days straight of Atomic Motion, um, donations. The, <laughs> um, organization is key, yes. Uh, no attic trips today, no. We're, <laughs> first live stream I've seen from you. Well, welcome, Emmanuel Rees. Really happy to have you here. Um, Tom, someone gave me two UNSC Pelicans for $40. That is an epic price. Yeah, so, uh, two days ago, the countdown stream was, uh, fairly, uh, successful without many hiccups. But then, the- apart from me getting super, super tired, because it took way too long. And then yesterday was the Snowbound Battlescape and versus Snowbound live streams, and I, um... I was missing 58 pieces from the set, even though I thought I was buying 100% complete sets, I was missing 58 pieces. So we went into the attic, and it was actually pretty hilarious that we, like, went exploring in the attic, and I showed off some of my, like, secret rare items and stuff. You can check out that stream, it's, it's there, it's yesterday's stream. So, uh, JMC's been here for three days. Shout out to JMC. I love Ben 10 and his paper airplane. Okay. Um, right. So, uh, Unicy Pelican, um, we've got, let's see, only 90 stages, it's not actually that bad, like, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, and I've built so many of these pelicans over the years, that I doubt I'm gonna be making many mistakes, um, and, uh, also, here's our figures, we've got, uh, two yellow Spartans, a yellow Hayabusa, and a green Pelican Pilot, but the green Pelican Pilot has two right arms, because of course he does. Because why not? Why not just give him two right arms? <laughs> That's the kind of energy we've got today. That's the kind of energy we always seem to have. Just, just uh, the kind of energy where you feel like you're being messed with constantly. <laughs> um, I had a little light. There's my little light. 
I also put a bowl, you can't really see it, but I put a bowl inside like the, um, <laughs> this hole for the wires, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just put a, a teeny tiny bit of mood lighting on. What, what, what color should we pick today, fellas? Um, let's see. We're gonna go for... Hmm, let's... A little bit of blue, a little bit of green. I think I think blue's nice for a stream. I think blue's relaxing for a live stream. Let's get out. Where's my little tripod? There's my little tripod. Who's my little tripod? You are my little tripod. And now I'm gonna screw it on and blind myself every time it turns around. <laughs> What's up, Tulsum Tub? Oh yeah, uh, Tulsum Tub. Uh, yeah, I know you're probably trying to get my attention saying where's my moderator uh, thing. Where's my moderator um, privileges? And the answer is, clearly you don't have moderator abilities yet because clearly I've not seen your message yet and clearly I've not done it yet because I've been busy. So I will do your moderator uh, privileges soon, but not right now. Now we are live streaming, but you will be moderator soon. Okay, that adds a tiny bit of blue. That doesn't actually add that much. Ah, don't you dare. Um, no, I, th I thought it was gonna add a bit more. Don't I have a- do I have a cold shoe mount? Oh, I do have a cold shoe mount on this. I can actually- Well, actually, that might look a bit weird if I put it straight down. Yeah, no, that's- that's not good at all for the lighting, actually. Let's, um, let's put it onto, uh, some- just some backlight. 2%, we want it more than that. Okay. I'm a new subscriber. Well, welcome the Holt. Welcome to the gang. Hope you stick around. Right. No, that light's right in my face. I don't want that light in my face. Get out of my face. Get out. Go on, get. There we go. Okay. 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 How much for moderator? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> you just have to have been talking to me for a while to become a moderator. So let me know how we're all doing today. Also, let's uh, let's see if you can um, sort of muster behind me and get me through this live stream because um, I was very uh, close to canceling this live stream just because I've been working hard, um, like huge hours, and um, I was I'm pretty exhausted right now, and I was gonna cancel the live stream, but then I was like, now. I, I really want to get this done. I want to just chill out. I want to do I want to do three three days straight for the sake of doing three days straight. But I also don't want to let anyone down. So let's just push forward. And here we are. And here I am. And I'm feeling okay right now. But I'm probably gonna get tired uh, fairly soon. So let's just let's just motivate me through this one, fellas. We'll 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 make it. We'll make it to the other side. We will we will make it to the other side. I wish for the next vote. Uh, it's uh, big sets like an elephant, scarab, and a mammoth. Um, Tossum Tub, I know you probably sent it six hours ago, and I've been working for six hours. I woke up this morning, I edited my Simon Says video, which was 51 minutes of footage. I edited that right down to 31 minutes, exported it, and uploaded it to Simon Says. It's not released yet, but I uploaded it. Then um, I was working on a few different YouTube shorts and, like, a billion other projects. So, no, I've not checked my messages yet. And I also, I don't have uh, notifications turned on for Instagram, because... If I did, that would be, like, way too much. <laughs> um, that would be way too much. Uh, it's too many notifications every day. Hey, Nathan W117. What's up, man? This is for not cancelling the stream. Yes! Yes! This, this guy gets it. This guy gets it. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, really, I really did push myself to, to not cancel this stream, but I, I didn't want to. Um, I, wanted to I wanted to get it done. I also, I gotta get all these sets built. I got like a billion of them. And I am feeling really good about the fact that all these pieces are organized. Cause like, look at this, I'm already, you know, I've already done step four cause it's literally a no brain. Like it's so easy when you have everything organized. Beautiful, so that's the base of the pelican. Um, once I finish this, I'm, I should probably do um, a pelican comparison because uh, I have the pelican inbound upstairs in the attic. Uh, yeah, much appreciated for the do much appreciated with the donation, Nathan W117. Really, really appreciate that. 
Also, apparently all the um, messages have turned blue. All the names of the messages have turned blue. It, it has a mind of its own, that thing. It really, really does. Um, wait, what? Did I just put them... I totally just put them the wrong way around. Uh-oh. That's not a good start. That's not a good indication of things to come. I wish you took your day off because I have work soon. <laughs> oh no, shame. Um, well, uh, today is definitely not a day to be taking off. Um, I'm gonna take Saturday off. Uh, tomorrow... So tomorrow, my new Simon Says on bullying releases. It's a 31 minute video on how to deal with bullying. I'm actually super proud of it. It came out really, really well. Um, so that comes out tomorrow, as well as a YouTube short showing off all of the new uh, all of the new weapon coatings for the Bandit, and a analysis of the uh, new Blind Bag and Halo Heroes images. All of that will come out tomorrow. Um, as well as, uh, I think I'm going to probably push out a, a Wandering Motion video, my my travel channel. Um, and then Saturday I'm going to take the day off. i got a lovely date, I'll have you know. Um, but then Sunday I'm going to be back on work all day. And Sunday evening I've got a surprise live stream, a secret live stream. That's going to be in the afternoon. And then eventually I'm going to have some time to play Halo Infinite. I mean, I've not even... I've not even played the new update yet, and that's crazy, because I've been dying to, but, like, I am busy. I'm working long hours, like, truly. Have you seen my diorama yet, Simon? I have not, JMC Bricks. Uh, where did you send it to? The best way of getting something to me, uh, you can PM me on Discord, but I do take a while to reply on Discord, because I have so many messages, um, so it takes a while to clear out my inbox. Um, the best way of getting hold of me usually is tagging me on Instagram. It, again, it takes a few days for me to reply, but I, I clear out my Instagram inbox every so often. And um, I do pride myself on, um, I answer every single message that I ever receive. I never leave anyone hanging. I mean, sure, they might have to wait a while for a reply, but I always reply to every single message. That's like one of the, th one of the things that I've always prided myself on. I hope I don't ever get too popular that I can't reply to every message. <laughs> that would be that would be the the worst case scenario. What what is going on here? Oh, this does go back. Oh, 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 oh. Also, I got like ow ow. I got like something in my th in my in my fingernail. So now I can't really like peel bricks back and things, which is a bit of a shame for a, a live stream. There we go. So yeah, I built these pel- I mean, how many of these pelicans? I, this is no exaggeration. This is no exaggeration at all. I have built slash had in my house over the last 15 years at least... It, it, it could be like 40 of these. It could be It could be as much as 50. Um, I'm always buying them and I'm always selling them. Hey, Strandy42 is in the chat. What up, buddy? Hi, Strandy. Ow. Ow, see, I got this got this weird thing in my nail. Strandy, how are, how are you, my son? I miss you. Can anyone send me some Covenant? The covenant reinforcements? Careful what you wish for, man. Someone, you'll ask, you ask someone to send you some Covenant, then the Covenant will go and glass your house, and then your mum will be... Your mum will come home from work, and she's like, Why'd you glass my, why'd you glass my house, Billy? And you're like, It wasn't me, it was the Covenant. She's like, Yeah, right. The Covenant, that's, that's a video game. And you're like, No, mum, seriously. The Covenant glassed my house, and she's like, "You need to, you need to go to a therapist." And then you end up going for a therapist. You end up going to a therapist, and then they they say you're clinically insane, even though the Covenant literally glassed your house because you asked the domain to send the Covenant round to your house on a live stream, and he uh, he obliged. So careful what you wish for in life, you know. You never know. Never know what's coming your way. The gunship has more guns. The pelican gunship is good. Um, I prefer... If I was to make a tier list of pelicans... The, the, I, I still don't own the uh, an MPD pelican. Because I've never been willing to pay crazy prices. So I think the, the NMPD pelican would probably be the top of my list. But I don't own it. So well, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. My buddy Jonathan owns it. Um, and I actually... I got offered an NMPD pelican... 
at retail. I mean, even at Bloxfest, we sold a few NMPD Pelicans uh, sealed. That was in 2016. We sold a few of them sealed. But uh, that was, you know, that was back in the day. And um, I, I was about to go traveling in China. Turns out I ended up moving to China permanently. So I never returned from China, really, until now. Um, and when I was leaving to go to China, Jonathan offered me a an MPD Pelican <clears throat> sealed, 100% complete, brand new. And I turned it down because, yeah, I was going traveling. Um, at that point, I didn't even know that I was going to end up staying in China. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is the right piece. Where do I get the ODST 4-pack? The ODST 4-pack is available right now at walmart.com, and it's on walmart.com. You can buy it right now, so go, go and get it. Red Spartan 117. That's a good name. So that's crazy. Uh, over the three days, we'll have built two snowbound sets, and a pelican and a countdown. That's a huge amount of building. Like truly, that's that's a lot of work. No one be mad at me, but I don't have the pelican. The biggest set I have is the banished phantom. Want to build really big sets? Love the challenge. Yeah, fair enough. I have every pelican except for the 343 pelican because it's hard for me to buy in Marketplace. Ah, the pelican dropship, you mean. Um, that's that's a, that's an interesting name, 343 pelican. I dig it. I knew what it was. I immediately knew what it was. Um, I don't actually know what the, um, the aftermarket value of the uh, pelican gunship is. I imagine quite a lot because it has lights and sounds, but um, I don't actually know. Interesting. Also, we're blitzing through this. We've already done uh, step 10. This isn't going to be any kind of issue. Comes together just really nicely, this set. But where did they go? Ah. <laughs> nice, there we go. So we're already uh, a ninth of the way through the build, essentially. And all of that is totally down to having such good organization. Like, this is really fun. I, I actually haven't uh, built with this level of organization in a long time. Um, for anyone that wasn't at the beginning of the stream, like, we, uh, we are so well organized. So well organized. Uh, and it even goes up onto my windowsill as well. We got everything we need right here, which is nice. It's a good feeling. Good, good feeling. Josiah Customs, I understand how you feel. Yeah, the elephant is still expected to arrive this fall. It absolutely is. Yeah, the elephant should be here this fall. There should be uh, no issue, really. I'm, well, I say that. I, d I don't know. But, I mean, there shouldn't really be any issue. It should arrive this fall. No problemo. Let's, um, let's, put, some, let's put some mood lighting on. Let's uh, go... Yeah, let's... This will just cycle between colors. Just a little tint. You can barely even see that tint. It would be better if I could have it on a tripod. But I don't think I can. I think that would mess up the lighting. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, no. I, uh, yeah, I think that would be weird, wouldn't it? If I have it there... Um, yeah, we'll just leave. We don't need this. I'm back. Got on Got on five, five out of five. Hmm, nice. There's three elephants. Yeah, well, the, the newest elephant will be the third elephant. There was uh, the original elephant, then uh, the, ele the elephant that came with the... Uh, with June and Carter. Um, first appearance of them in New Articulation. They pretty much nailed it from the start. Oh, we need these lights up here. It's still taking me a little bit of time to find some pieces. Oh, there they are. Turn it 
Tell me, uh, everybody tell me what's uh, the last thing you built. Oh, actually, here's an interesting discussion. What other um, construction sets have you built before, other than Halo? Uh, other than Mega Bloks, specifically. What other brands have you built before? What Lego have you built before? Do you enjoy Lego, or do you just bash it for the fun of it? Or, um, yeah, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think of Lego these days? I'd be interested to know how much it translates, whether, like, the fans of this channel also are fans of LEGO. I, I know that a lot of LEGO, uh, I know that a lot of Halo Mega Bloks fans are also fans of LEGO Star Wars. LEGO prices are whack. They are. Funny story, I bought a Visa gift card to order the Banished Phantom, like, a month ago, and now they're saying the card is on hold and they're not doing anything about it. That's, that, that sucks. That sucks. Hope you, uh, hope you figure that one out. It sounds like a pain. I have probably built 500 plus Lego sets. I'm actually building a Lego Star Wars set right now. 500 plus. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Mega all the way. Yes. Yes. We should respect our rivals, but also know that we are far superior. We're building the uh, the cockpit of the pelican now. Strandy, Josiah, mm, we shall see. I need to decide to adopt you. I may need a passport to pass for the blind box. <laughs> Communication with Lego is quite bad. Yeah, also a problem. Also a problem. Communication with Lego is nowhere near as good as Mega. Mega can get away with it because they are a smaller company, even though they are owned by Mattel. But then again, the fact that they are owned by Mattel and they still have really good transparency is a great thing. But they've Mega have uh, improved their transparency dramatically over the last few years. Um, in some ways, namely since uh, the domain started uploading again. Uh, that's been a, a really good push um, to get Mega talking to the community again. I gotta take credit for some things, right? <laughs> yeah, this uh, cockpit is quite tiny compared to like our new articulation figures. But it's still really nice. Nice, nice, nice. Little little pair of sunglasses for the uh, for the cockpit. And then we've got this little sticker. The stickers on Mega do hold up really well. See, my take is that Mega has slightly better sets and figures, but Lego is way better at distribution quality and the overall experience of the build. Lego, see, mm, yeah, yeah. Lego's better at distribution, maybe, but here's the thing, and um, this is something, uh, I think Demarcation Media originally said this, and I, no, 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 uh, Pat, one of my friends, Patrick, originally said this, and uh, I have uh, tended to agree recently. I think we need to have a different approach towards distribution um, in general. I think we need a different approach to like how we talk about distribution because I don't think it's accurate to really say that Mega has bad distribution because if you go into any target in the USA, pretty much any target in the USA, you'll find Mega Constructs Pokemon, right? Because Pokemon is a really popular brand right now. But you won't find Mega Constructs Halo because Halo's just not doing as well as a game. So, I don't know, man. I, I feel like a lot of the time it's, it's not actually um, Mega's fault with distribution. I think it's just that Halo is not as popular as it could be right now. And... To be honest, that kind of uh, change in opinion does give uh, Mega a lot more slack, which I think they kind of deserve. Because I always say, with distribution, nobody asks for bad distribution, right? Um, and as Halo has just been sort of stagnating as a franchise, I think uh, the, the overall sales of Halo Mega have stagnated as well. And I think that's led to um, a decline in sales. That's, you know, 
that that's that's the harsh reality and there's a lot we can do to improve that and um we're actually brainstorming on how we can come together and improve that as a community at the minute what's up halo bricks yes exactly nathan w stores order what they want exactly exactly and i wouldn't be surprised if i mean we know for a fact that there have been some problems with distribution from time to time, um, some delays in pr 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 uh, producing things, and the fact that everything's coming out of China and there's been so many problems in China right now, there have been some good uh, good reasons to to give Mega some slack. But recently, I'm kind of starting to think that maybe it's not a poor distribution issue at all. Maybe it's just that stores are not ordering as much uh, Halo Mega as as Mega would like. And if that's the case. We need to double down on supporting Mega instead of ridiculing their distribution. When clearly their distribution might actually be fine. Um, like, tell me, like, here, here's a question. Everybody please answer this if you can. How much Mega Constructs Pokemon is in your local target? That's a good question. Like, try and answer that if you can. How much Mega Constructs Pokemon is in your local target? Because from every target I went to in America, it's a lot. It's a lot. Well, I lost that piece before. Where is that? Where is that piece? Huh. I had a... I had a... I, mm, they're like... Big sloping pieces. I don't, yeah, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't lock onto them. I knew that uh, I'd seen them just before. Just couldn't couldn't lock eyes with them at that present moment. And then we need eight of those. Man, this really just like this is so much nicer. It's so much more relaxing when you have everything in front of you organized. Um, fully stocked everything. Too much the entire section. Like thirty eight. One Pokemon set, lol, the big Pokeball is the only one. Okay. It's like it takes over, dude. Mm, yeah. Um, Walmart even has Mega Pokemon. Amazon is my... Yeah. And uh, we also talk about distribution inside the UK. Like, um, there's a lot of complaints that the UK has no distribution. But there's Mega Constructs Pokemon in UK stores. So, I think... I, I, you know, I'm starting to think that it's not really a problem with Mega's distribution at all. I think it's just how much these stores want to order um, and the game isn't doing very well right now. And uh, I'd be a little, uh, you know, there's some reasons to be pessimistic, but one of the reasons to be optimistic is the um, introduction of uh, Mattel Creations onto the field because Mattel Creations is direct from Mega, so they make way more money per set. And... It's direct to consumer, so it combats uh, worldwide shipping issues, and um, a lot of them are like the new set. They're they're producing whatever orders they can fill, so it it voids scalping issues as well because they're just going to produce as many orders as they receive. Um, so there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic. I think Mattel Creations is a great step forward, and I think it's really really important that we support it right now. And a lot of people don't even know about Mattel Creations. Like, if you're a UK uh, collector, you can buy Halo Mega from Mattel Creations and it's worldwide shipping. Like, you can't get this stuff. It is not all doom and gloom, my friends. It is not. It's not doom and gloom at all. Um, there is no Pokemon in England, in Derbyshire. Uh, I've seen the Mega Constructs Pokemon in quite a few places. Um, like, for example, Game. Game definitely has it. Maybe not in Derbyshire, I don't know. Also, if you're a UK resident, contact me on Discord or Instagram, and I'll add you into our collector's chat, where uh, sort of I'm building a community of UK collectors, so I can then hopefully start to help bring distribution back to the UK. So if you're a UK collector, hit me up on one of my social medias. Okay, 
all these little guys in. They can all burn. I'm, che <laughs> I'm checking every day on when the fan vote pre-order will happen. Um, once the second I have information, I will be posting it, so don't worry. I think it's going to be like the 22nd or the 23rd. That's what I'm thinking. But um, the second I have news, the second I have official word from Mega, I will let you know. I remember the Monster High sets they did and those disappeared. Yeah, they've gone through a lot of different licenses. The fact that Halo has remained shows how uh, indomitable the franchise IP is and how dedicated the fan base is. No matter what um, state the games are in, people just continue to buy the product. Like, it's just always a popular uh, building set. It's always a popular brand. And there's just so many things you can do with the IP. For Halo Mega, you can build so many different things. Although, what I'm now wanting after building the Countdown and the Snowbound Battlescape uh, the last two days, I really need to see some more construct, uh, some more buildings. Simon, I'm a UK resident and I'm 10, but can I still join? You can join the Facebook group, so message me about the Facebook group. The, uh, the private chat is, uh, you have to be older than that, but you can join the group. Although maybe you shouldn't be using Facebook when you're 10. Go outside. The Cool Mike. Hey, managed to pass by after work. Nice. Welcome, The Cool Mike. I have it on good authority that you are both called Mike and are also pretty cool. My Walmart has both the Bizarre Battleground. Oh, and Decisive Engagement. Oh my god, it's Walmart. What a rig on a red team trap. Whoa. Whoa. Dr. Poopa. 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 You might be sitting on the best stocked Walmart in America. That's pretty crazy. All my Walmart has is Universe 2 blind bags. Well, that's a really cool thing. I think a lot of people would want that. Yeah, tell me, uh, tell me in the chat, chat, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell Simon, tell Simon what Halo Mega is stocked in your area. What can you find? And don't be negative, don't be saying what you want to find. Tell me what you can find. Because, you know, you don't, you, no, nobody can expect every store to have every set. That's not realistic. But tell me what you can find in your local area. Very nice, that's stage 17, looking good. My Walmart literally has nothing except Star Wars Legos, rip. <laughs> My target has one ra Razorback. Well, the Hornet's pretty good. I haven't found Halo Heroes or Blind Bags in like a year, no joke. That is a shame. You could always ask, um, if you get the SKU code, 
um, from like, say for example, Target. If you go to the Target website, all Halo heroes that are listed on Target.com have the same SKU number, and you can um, put that number. Um, you can show uh, the one of the clerks that number, and they can put it into the system, and they can say what local Target near you has um, stock. So you can find out what targets near you have Halo Heroes. The only shame is you can't tell which Halo Heroes, they just tell you how many of a set of Halo Heroes are in a store. So you have to take a gamble, but if you're looking for just any Halo Heroes, yeah, ask your uh, local local uh, target, show them the SKU number from the website, and then ask them to tell you what store nearby has uh, Le Goods. Le Goods and Services. Okay. On to step 20. Dollar Generals have the Brute Packs and some of the four Battle Packs, ODST Ambush and Drone Assault. And the mech suits, tar yeah, that sounds like every Dollar General ever, yeah. Targets, uh, t Dollar General's credit to them are pretty well stocked. Um, I have like 40 boxes of Universe 2 Halo blind bags. I went yesterday to buy some, that's pretty epic. My Dollar General has the Desert Sniper mech. Yo! You Dollar, whoa! Hey, yo, yo, go buy that! Buy that, man! <laughs> I've never seen a Desert Sniper mech in a Dollar General, that's epic. It's actually a really cool thing to have in a Dollar General. I think you could probably... I don't know what the going rate for those is, but you could probably sell that online. My new Dollar General prices are pretty high. That is true. So, I've officially decided that anytime I ever livestream again, I'm gonna have everything organized. It's so much more relaxing. I can actually talk to you guys there's way less things that I have to focus on. My eyes don't feel strained because I'm constantly looking for pieces. This is way better. Way, way better. Hey, Atomic Motion! Hey, Atomic Motion! Wow, wow, oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, Mom! Mom! Atomic Motion donated! <laughs> What's up, dude? I wish Pokemon was in my local stores, so I knew that they knew... So I knew that they knew that Mega, what Mega was, because the last set I saw was Yankee Squad and that Brute one. Oh, the Brute one was called Brute Covenant Lance, I believe. Damn, that's the last things you saw? That's pretty, pretty crazy. That's going to be a long time ago. Um, really appreciate the donation, my man. Thank you very, very much. Much appreciated. Um, I'm actually going to put all these donations towards um, a new microphone for my um, iPhone this month. So that's going to be a really, really, really well spent uh, piece of piece of uh, finance. Piece of finance. What am I talking about? Um, no, I'm going to put all donations through to buying a new microphone um, and then upgrading my streaming software so I can stream on multiple devices at the same time or multiple websites at the same time so I can uh, help build my Twitch. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's it's that's going to be good. Also, uh, some leftover money might be spent buying buying a lovely lady a cocktail at a bar. Let's let's see let's see what happens. I got a I got a nice date on Saturday and I might be able to say hey. Um, Atomic Motion donated <laughs> on my live stream, so I can buy you a drink. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But seriously, that's a that's a, like uh, Yankee Squad being the last thing you had uh, at your local store. That's ancient. Yankee Squad. Yankee Squad is also one of the best um, sets. It's so good. Um, so, two crazy things happened recently. One guy was walking through a Target. I saw this on uh, I saw this on um, Twitter. 
One guy was walking through a Target and found a Halo Series 2 blind bag. Like 2009 Series 2, maybe 2010, Series 2 blind bag. Like the original blind bags. He just found this in a store. Just absolute madness. Um, and then someone else was in a store and they, uh, in a tart. no, uh, someone else was in a Walmart and they found an original, um, NMPD troop transport hog in a Walmart. Like, what? And, uh, both situations, they were allowed to buy it, which I thought they would be denied buying it. To be honest, if I found one of those sets in a Walmart, to, to be honest... If I was like lucky enough to find such a legendary set in a Walmart, and I'm not giving this as good advice, but what I'd do is I'd, I'd probably um, put it in my bag and then I would buy something of equal value to it and leave that thing behind. So I would pay for it, but I don't think I'd take it to the checkout because if you take it to the checkout, you run the risk of them saying, this is an old item, we can't sell you this, and then it's gone forever. So I don't know if I'd risk that. I think I'd probably put it in my bag and then buy something of equal value. So I'm not stealing it, but um, I think I'd probably uh, do that. And then worst case scenario, someone pulls me up and they say, hey, what's that? And I, I actually just explain the situation and I'm like, sorry, I'm a big dumb dummy. Um, and, you know, that would be the worst case scenario. But I don't think I'd uh, I don't think I'd allow that to slip out of my hands. I don't think I'd run the risk. But yeah, someone found a an NMPD troop transporter at retail. At a, at a Walmart, and that's gotta be like, it's probably seven years old, maybe eight years old. It's madness. It's absolute madness. I was gonna make a video on it. It was that ridiculous. Um, there we go, we got our side panels on. I wonder how much it was. Yeah, I'd like to know. I, I think it was probably, probably like $25, maybe. You said you were picking me up at seven. Don't be late. Oh my goodness. Series two, how? I don't know. They just, they said, they should, they, they posted a picture. It kind of, I, I almost like called like uh, it, it being a bit sus, but um, I, I let it fly. I let it. Uh, I let it pass. No, no, smaller than that. Yeah, it was actually ridiculous. I have no idea how that happened. Dollar General stole mega sets away. One person dumps to dive and pulled ten NMPD police cars. What? Oh, why do why do stores throw things away? It's so insane. I can't imagine throwing really anything away. Like I, I, I struggle to even imagine. Like I struggle to imagine throwing anything away in life. It seems so wasteful. I've uh, upgraded my tripod piece today so I can really seamlessly move this around and rotate it without issue. Well, welcome, Archalius. Uh, Archalius. 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 Welcome. On to step 24. Such a seem like, it's just such an easy build. Some builds can be complicated because they're so varied. 
And it depends what kind of uh, mood I'm in. Like, I always like a really interesting varied build, very stimulating build. But right now, because I'm quite tired, I'd like to just do a really easy... Like, this This is easy because every single thing in this build is symmetrical. Like, pretty much every single thing. Like, 95% of all things are symmetrical. So it's just super easy to do. Are you drinking a beer, Simon? No, I'm drinking uh, a little bit of summer fruit cider. Just um, a, a nice, a nice beverage. Nice, light, nice, light beverage. I'm reserving my beer drinking for the e for the for the weekend. bit of stick or something stuck. <clears throat> Just a couple of days ago I got a rubber made box full of Mega Halo, Pelican Falcon, lots of other sets, probably 50 minifigures all for $30. $30 is a great price. Yes. We love a good haul. We love a good sale. Now, I need to find out where the arrow stickers go. Yep, they're on the top one. So, because the stickers are the stickers are already on a lot of these pieces, so you have to make sure you get them in the right place, or you'll be doing a lot of backpedaling, which you don't want to do. Ah, oh, this is just so easy. I'm so happy with myself that I put in the time to get all these pieces ready. Oh, uh, wait, <laughs> wait, hold on. Oh my goodness. Did I? Oh my goodness, I did, didn't I? Whoa. Okay. I did forget a piece. Yeah, I, that's so funny. I was literally just saying that's really weird timing. I was just saying that I'm happy that I got organized and got all my pieces together right as I noticed that I didn't have a piece. That is weird timing. And, um, oh, uh, thanks for the support, Jason and Brittany Edmund? Brittany? Brittany? How's the build? The build's going well, Cool Grape. We're on, um, section... For, uh, no, we're on section 26. My only issue is I just, hmm. I just made a comment. That was really weird timing because I just made a comment about how I'm happy that I pre-organized everything and uh, got it all together before the stream so I wouldn't have any hiccups. But just as I said that, I noticed something and I remembered that there was a piece that um, I was thinking, oh wait, wait. Oh, I only need one of those. Oh, maybe not then. Maybe not. Um, I remember seeing those at first and thinking, oh, you probably should have two, and then I never checked again. But maybe I actually do just need one. Huh. Maybe crisis averted, we'll see what happens. He failed, mission failed. No, I think I actually, I think I actually succeeded. Simon, what's your oldest Halo set? Um, well, my oldest Halo set uh, oh, I have this right here. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. The original combat unit. The very, very first combat unit. Green Marine, Flame Marine, um, another Marine and a Spartan. That's some nostalgia right there. That's some nostalgia right there. I also have this. I will always keep this here because this is a set that, I mean, it's not the original that I bought because I opened that one, but 
This is uh, one of the sets that originally just sparked my absolute love for Halo Mega. When I bought this set originally, I just became completely intoxicated with the with the entire franchise. Such an epic set. Uh, my first figure, yeah, my first figure was, um, well, go on then, I'll put it to a test. Who can tell me what my first figure was? Because I've told the story a couple of times. Who can tell me what my first ever figure was? The lights and sound sets are cool. Uh, yeah, they are very cool. I remember when they first came out, I was very excited by them. They only ever did one wave of them, though, then dropped it. I don't know whether it didn't sell well or it actually ended up being more expensive than they thought. Could have been a bit of both. AC figure from one of the original blind bags. Good uh, memory. Yes, my first ever figure was um, an AC um, Elite. Uh, an AC Spartan from the original blind bags. My first ever set, though, my first ever set was the um, original Mongoose that came with a Spartan and Sniper and an Elite. I can actually, like, there's things that you just, like, remember so vividly from your childhood, and I can literally remember, like, picking that set up in a store. I can remember the first time I picked up that ODSC drop pod in an entertainer toy store, like... Um, those things stay with you, especially when you like, the more you interact with the brand and you tell the stories, uh, the more you like implement it into your mind. Sometimes when you get older, you can't actually tell, like you literally can't tell what, um, is like kind of fact and what's kind of fiction. Cause you just, you, you tell all these stories throughout your life and then you get to a point where you're like, I don't even remember what the original story was. Maybe I've over-exaggerated it over time. Maybe I've remembered it incorrectly. You don't actually know uh, as you get older. <laughs> it's funny. I can't imagine when I'm like even older. It's probably just, it'll probably just get worse and worse. Okay, have I done this correctly? Yeah. No, maybe not. Oh no. Oh, do we only want a four-piece though? Uh, no? Okay. No, no, no. No, that is right. Yeah. Me too. The ODST drop pod was the f the with the white sniper was my first set. My big brother rushed me to grab something and that's what it was. Yeah. It's just such an incredible... Th those original drop pods are just so incredible. You could tell, like, when the when those first sets were coming out, Mega was just coming out kicking and screaming. They just wanted... They just wanted to make their stamp on the collecting landscape, and they really did. Lego must have been shaking in their boots! I actually, uh, I mean, Lego just has such a complete dominance. I remember, um, so I used to go to, um, a couple of times I went to the, uh, headquarters for Mega in the UK. So the UK had the regional Mega office, and I went there a couple of times, and I remember one time I went there, I walked in, and, like, people were kind of a little glum, and I, I asked why, and they said, oh... Lego just announced the Lego movie. And it was like the day that Lego announced the Lego movie. If you were like Mega and you were like looking at your stocks, you'd just hate the idea that, that Lego would announce a movie. That would be like a serious, serious like shakeup um, of like your, your market dominance, you know what I mean? Or market control even. Hmm. Says I need more than one of these, but I don't see more than one. Where would it be? I got it mixed up somewhere. Hmm. I don't see 
that. Hopefully it'll pop up somewhere. My first mega set was the COD Ghost Helicopter. Interesting. Interesting first set. Okay, so we got all of our pieces for this section, but I don't see the second one of these bad boys. Hmm. The Orange Hayabusa with the Samurai Sword. Good choice, good choice. Always a good choice. Hmm. I don't see it, fellas. I don't see it. <sighs> we do have um, what I would argue is one of the rarest. P oh, there it is. One of the uh, one of the rarest pieces of uh, Halo Mega there is, um, and it's this piece here, because this is a little antenna that goes on the end of the pelican but it falls off with like any amount of touch. So, so many people are missing these. Like my original was missing it for years. Um, I've had a few different requests. Like, do you have this piece? I've seen people trying to request the piece. Is someone calling me? <laughs> Shere Khan Industries is calling me. Shere Khan, you can't call me, I'm on a live stream. No. Hmm, okay. So, uh, apologies to Shirkan Industries for hanging up on him. I can't talk. I'm streaming, brother of mine. I see we are building my favorite OG set. Yes, Overgrown Iguana. Yes, I mean, it is just such a good set. My first mega set was the Modern Warfare 2 Desert Shipping Container. Uh, Strandy42, the Mega Bloks Xbox game. I want to make a video on that one day. It's on the list. It's on the list. Welcome to our new subscriber, Raphael Silvestre. Welcome to the team. Good to have you here. Also, I did, uh, I, as, as instructed, well, not instructed, I, I, I offered to do it yesterday on the previous live stream. I said that I would do a poll on my YouTube for what tattoo I got at the weekend. Um, and it was interesting. I put the options as the domain logo, Craig the Brute's head, a grunt's head, or a Spartan's helmet. And to my surprise, Craig the Brute did not actually win. I thought people would just vote Craig the Brute just to be a troll. But um, actually the domain logo won, which is uh, interesting. And uh, it, it, it brings up a funny dilemma because um, low-key, in a weird sort of way, I kind of wanted Craig the Brute's head to win because um, I'm going to uh, this, like, random beach town. It's it's on a date, and um, I'm going to just get a random tattoo there. I got a random tattoo the last time I went there. Um, I got this air glider last time. And um, it's a really low-quality tattoo shop. It's, like very run down and the tattoos are only $35. So I don't want to spend $35 on a, on a part of my French. I was going about a, a, just a low quality version of a domain logo. Cause if I get the domain logo tattooed, I want it to be really, really high quality. So low key, I kind of might get a Craig the Brute tattoo on Saturday. Just because like, just why not? Just, <laughs> 
I've got so many tattoos and it would just be a funny one in a funny place. And um, it would just be a bit of a goofy meme, like just a, just a goofy uh, acknowledgement of the past. There's our little, uh, little seating area. And yeah, that would not fit a new articulation figure in, but it's really cute. It's a really nice, uh, really nice pelican. I built this when I was 11 on Christmas, dropped it on my hardwood kitchen floor and it shattered and I cried the entire night. That's brutal, dude. That's brutal. Thanks for sharing. And here's our little ramp. Nice. And uh, yep, we're, we're on to stage 33 and we need four of these. So let's, let's find out which ones we need. Um, oh, just the one with the red stickers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those, two of those, two and two. Small pelican. It's so small. It's so small. Is the orange Halo Wars one Spartan OG? Definitely, absolutely. Um, what is? What about your left hand? What does that tattoo mean? This is uh, the AI, the artificial intelligence from Halo Three ODST. Um, it keeps New Mombasa safe. I always like to imagine that when I'm uh, when I'm in public, it's winking at anybody that's looking at me, but it's looking at me like, "Are you sure? I don't know if you should do that." <laughs> it's a it's a moral guidance. Um, also, there's some other Halo tattoos, um, and some more over here. Uh, welcome to our new subscriber, Uchila Uchiha Madara 2 Welcome to the gang. Happy to have you. And our other subscriber, Raphael Sylvester, and uh, Dane Dania Osmore. Welcome. Sorry if I mispronounced anyone's names. Really interesting here, you get two of these together, pop that in, and then you uh, get another two. So which ones have the red, because there's a red sticker that's already applied to them. Okay, the red sticker goes on the underneath layer, all right. Okay, so that would be the, that would be the on top layer, so we don't want that there. We want it underneath. So, we pop that together, flip it over, and we get two more, attach them together like that, and pop them on top, there, like so. And we do it on the other side. Spartan boy, what's up? Luca Halo 117 hello. Hello, everybody. Not gonna lie, Simon, you give me the best vibes. Yes, Phaedra, thank you. I like to think I exude good vibes. Only good vibes here, guys. Nope, did that wrong. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I definitely did that wrong. Oops. Wait. Wait, wait, hold up, what? Wait, wait, hold on, no! I did do it right. Damn it. This one goes on the bottom. So this one needs this bit. Then this goes on the top. No! <laughs> come on, Simon. Come on, Simon. I know it's late at night, but come on, use your brain. Right, there we go. So now we have these two. And uh, these. And then the red stickers go on the face and up, I believe. Yep. Beautiful. Oh. Oh no.
a little difficult to get that on. But it really sort of puffs out the sides. Quite nice, that. That brings us to step 34, and we're doing the back of the Pelican. Stop motion can be hard. Um, I think I'm going to do a stop motion uh, live stream one day where I uh, we sort of, together we script, we animate, and we edit a stop motion from start to finish. I think I might do it in a live stream. Sometimes I kind of think to myself, man, it's weird that I'm just sat in a room just shouting um, at seemingly no one. Of course, there's a lot of people there, but it, sometimes it's kind of kind of strange. Got any tips for starting a YouTube channel for Mega Constructs? I got one tip and one tip only. Make whatever you enjoy. Don't make videos for views. Don't go looking for views. Enjoy views if they come. Don't let it get to your head. But um, don't go making videos specifically to get views because you won't have a good time. You gotta just make videos because you enjoy making videos. Past that, do whatever you'd like. Do, oh, make whatever kind of videos you enjoy. But it's a great thing to do and you can gain so many skills from making videos. Um, basically, I'm at like a weird point in my life where I want to make YouTube videos full-time, but it's not remotely financially viable. Um, like, I just don't make anywhere near enough money. So, um, it's, it's an interesting point where like, a lot of people think I should just quit and get a real full-time job. I, well, I mean, obviously I think this is a real job, but um, some don't. And it's a, it's a conflict, but what I always like to think of it, how I always like to think of it is, um, I want to go into media. I want to go into video production. I love like social media marketing and, and, um, and video production. So regardless, like right now I'm learning a lot. Like I'm learning so many really valuable skills for that kind of career path. So, um, Basically, I'm just giving it my absolute all right now, and if I crash and burn, so be it, but I'll have learned an incredible amount by then, and I'll be ready to take on the next challenge, take on a different job. But right now, I'm having a great time with it, other than the stresses of finances. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Okay, we need these curved bricks. Um, yeah, but basically... Uh, as long as you're making videos that you enjoy, that's the number one thing. Number one thing by far. Well, you made a Mac Cannon in a video. Hmm. I've been doing YouTube for more than six years. It is tough. Ah, it's a cool mic, really. All things Halo. I scored the Pelican for 10 bucks. Was complete with all parts and minifigures too. That's pretty exceptional. The extroverted cartographer. I'm also at work still. Well, enjoy your work. From making videos, I know how to work lots of editing software. Exactly, Gaming Bricks. Right now, I'm just looking at it as like, the, the landscape of work is changing rapidly. And the skills I'm learning right now, I know are going to translate into real world applications in the future. If I can't make YouTube work as a career path, I'll have skills that I can apply to a, a multitude of different jobs. So that's basically what's keeping me going right now. Like, um, that's why you're seeing like, I'm pretty much going to aim to release a YouTube short pretty much as well as a regular video most days. Um, because I'm, I know that that's like one of the futures of content creation. So it's one thing that I'm trying to get really good at. But man, like I compare like, um, when I was doing the Mega Halo fan vote the other day, um, I was doing the, I was doing a, a, a piece of news for the Mega Halo fan vote and, um, I released the video and it was pretty much like exactly a year minus a couple of days since the last time I did uh, the, mega the Mega Fan Vote 2022 video. 
and I, I, re I interlace some of the footage from the Mega Halo Fan Vote 2022 over the footage of the Fan Vote from this year, and the quality in video, the difference in quality of the video was wild. Like, it was so encouraging to see, like, how much my video quality has improved over the last year. Even, like, the last month. If you compare the video that I made, like, as round one of the Mega Halo fan vote started versus round four, even that video production has gone up and up and up. Because I'm working on, like, this is the first time, like, right now you're witnessing me working on YouTube full time. Like, in Minnesota, I was coasting a bit. Like, I was just enjoying myself. This is me doing full days every day. Um, and I think the quality is, like, shooting up. Um, I'm still a little limited by the quality of things like my camera, but the quality in general is going up and up and up. Reaches the definition of fire. Hmm. Very good. Okay, this is the uh, back piece with the uh, the tail with the two turbines. Do you have the new Ghost of Requiem set? Yeah, I bought about four or five of those. They're great. I really hope uh, tomorrow when my new video on uh, Simon Says comes out, you guys will give it a watch. It's uh, a real banger. Um, filmed it and it was 51 minutes of footage. Uh, it's my first scripted video and I think it turned out really, really well. So keep an eye out for that tomorrow. Oh no. I dropped a brick in my cup of tea. That won't do. I wish I could get this set. Yeah, I've, like I said, I've had like 30 or 40 of these pass through my life. Um, why don't you get a small part-time job to support yourself financially and then focus on YouTube with the rest of the time? Uh, it's a good idea, yeah, and uh, I probably could do that. Um, I've been considering getting some bartending work, um, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm very, very like razor focused on the task at hand. And uh, in reality, and this is not how it will always be, like if I need to get a job, I'll need to get a job. But right now, um, I can afford to not be working um, a part-time job because I live uh, at home since I moved back to England uh, two months ago. And I'm, I'm kind of uh, stubborn in terms of like, in my opinion, every minute that I'm not, making YouTube videos, I'm going to be at a lesser point at the end of the year. Um, so I kind of just don't want to get a part-time job because I just want to focus on improving my craft on YouTube. And um, to be honest, my, my, uh, my last ditch effort for success um, is with Simon Says, my new YouTube channel, because the domain will always be there. Um, but if I want to support the domain, if I want to keep on making domain videos, I need um, financial backing and the domain will never make me a salary because it's just not a uh, big enough uh, T Lego, yeah? Um, it's not a big enough um, channel. Like there's not a big enough audience because there's only so many people that collect Halo Mega Blocks. So um, my, my, my ditch effort is, uh, is with Simon Says. Getting Simon Says to a point where it's essentially making viral videos. We'll see. I mean, um, if there was ever a point that I could do it, it would be right now. I feel like I have all the skills to do it. I just gotta do it. Step 40. 
We've been going for what, an hour? Yeah, hour 18, not bad. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, decent. Yo, Luca, when you leave, you should check out my channel. Uh, Spartan Boy 0192. Spartan Boy 092. All right, Luca, Halo, thanks for the support. Mega needs you, we need you. I'm here, ma'am. I'm here. Make Simon says a Lego channel. Uh, don't ever apologize for your spelling, don't worry. We're all human. So we're building one of the propellers right now, uh, one of the propulsion engines. And if you're smart, when you're building the propulsion engines, while you're doing this section, you can put, you can uh, gather the exact same amount of pieces again because you know you're gonna be building an exactly mirrored section in a minute. So while I'm building, uh, once I've done this bit, while I'm building one of the, uh, no, actually I'm building a wing right now. While I'm building one of the wings, I'll collect up an identical amount of the same pieces. So later um, I can build the exact same wing, but on the other side. And uh, you just, you get, if there's any piece that needs to be mirrored, you mirror it. It's uh, not actually that complicated once you get the hang of it. Oh, it's just so nice not having to, <laughs> I know I keep on saying it, I'm probably a broken record, but it's so nice not having to like look for the pieces. I just know where they are, just pick them up, get the job done. It's a lot less, a uh, lot less stressful. Especially when you're live streaming, you want to be able to focus on things like the chat. You don't want to be focusing on looking for pieces. And I will answer the chat in just a second once I've gathered all these. Can't wait for Halo Boy to randomly join. <laughs> I thought it was mostly like young adults, like people from the Mega Days. Uh, well, it depends. Pretty much young adults. Yeah, it, it, it totally varies. I'd watch, but I have to go to school because I'm no longer sick. Oh, yeah, stuff is strange. Well, uh, I'm glad you had your day off yesterday, but uh, good luck at school. Um, it's hard to uh, ever gauge what, she, what the actual uh, average audience is. Um, particularly on YouTube, you don't really know what the average audience is because um, like most people will also make um, like accounts, uh, what am I saying? People will make uh, accounts with their like mother's email or something or they'll just lie about their age. So it's um, sometimes hard to tell.
I was always a fan of this uh, design where you can see like there's a there's a thin strip in the middle that's empty. I always thought that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, this is certainly a lot less dramatic of a live stream compared to yesterday. If, uh, if anyone wasn't there yesterday, we were missing 58 pieces from our build. Hey, Spawn Boy 092 thank you for the two US dollar donation, my friend. Really appreciate it. What a kind donation. And it just has a little, pre a little gift emoji or something. How cute. Much appreciated to anyone that supports the domain in any way, shape, or form. Nope, you didn't see anything. I did not use my teeth. You didn't see nothing. I advise against it. Do not use your teeth as a pre brick separator. And I know I should have brick separators, but I don't know where any are because I just moved back to England. There we are. Another wing. And then we're going to clip these in. How are we going to clip these in, you ask? Well, you got to do the other stage first. Instead of skipping ahead. How y'all feel about Infinite Series 3? I've been too busy to play it, but I'm very excited about it. And I'm really happy to see a lot of... Um, a lot of positive changes that have been made. And um, I can see that the community is feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. Like, I've always... You know me. You guys know me. I've always been defending Halo Infinite anyway. But um, it's great to see... I'm just wondering what it'll, what it'll actually do for, for player base. Only time will tell. Are we going to put it... Oh, no. We're not, we're not uh, inserting the two pieces together yet. Okay. I gotta go to sleep in a little bit. Don't worry, Luca boy, Luca Halo one must have to go to sleep. Even on YouTube, the majority of people involved in the Halo community are most certainly adults slash millennials. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't play Halo Infinite because I don't have Game Pass. Oh no, rip. Infinite is free though. You don't need uh, Game Pass, but I'm uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the multiplayer is free. To play the story, yeah, you need Game Pass. It's well worth it, in my opinion. But yeah, I did see comments saying uh, that it's disappointing that they didn't add 
the shroud screen and the uh, bandits to the campaign, which I hadn't really thought about, but now they mentioned it. I think it was Hidden Xperia that mentioned it. I guess it is a shame. Uh, hadn't really considered it, but uh, yeah, I guess that is a shame. They should continue to update Infinite's campaign, at least in that capacity. It's okay if they don't have the the uh, the workforce to make a new campaign right now, but they should definitely update that. Once again, unfortunately, I must go and prepare for work. Uh, no worries to call Mike. I'll be streaming again on Sunday. I don't really have anyone to play online with. That's a shame. You could always uh, private message um, me uh, whenever I'm online. My gamer tag is Motion Domain. I don't usually talk on, on party chat, but um, I'm always happy to play. I'm actually playing Infinite right now while watching because I've got someone out here putting together IKEA furniture for my massive mega collection. Go help them. Go help. Go help put the IKEA collect the IKEA furniture together. No worries about your spelling at all. Do not worry. No judgment here. After this, the uh, the main section is the uh, the back turbines. They do take a little bit, but we're steaming, steamrolling through. I'm gonna stop talking for a bit while I play while play soccer. Oh well, enjoy your soccer. Do you mean FIFA or you mean you're actually outside playing soccer? If so, cool. I mean either way, cool. That's cool either way, man. Nice. Always a big fan of that. That is just so, so well done. Favorite Halo set will always be the Red Hornet and Covenant Watchtower. Always been a big fan. railings on the bottom. I currently own uh, four of these. 
I might be selling a couple, I'm not sure. I might slim that. I'm considering slimming down my collection to just one of everything, because, like, literally there's never going to be enough space to scoop just to put it all. Aha! Right. We got the cockpit. There we are. Such a nice set. And the back piece. Don't break anything, Simon. There we are. Excellent, excellent. That is stage 60 we're about to do. We're going to do stage 60. And then uh, it's the two wings of the two turbines. Yeah, the new Hornet is dope. Absolutely. Right. Oh yeah, we've got to do this top hatch as well. Pelican's starting to get in the way a bit. It's getting too big. What do the stickers on this pit look like? Yeah, we got those two black bits on the top. Tower of Ultimate Dooms here. What up, what up, what up? Classic set. I never got a full size pelican until Halo Infinite. Really? Why is that? Tower of Ultimate Doom. How do you how do you never get a a, pel a pelican? Interesting. It all just fits together so nicely.
Hmm. Oh, we only need one of those? Interesting. That is bizarre. It's not symmetrical at all. Actually, you have no idea why, why it isn't symmetrical. Oh. Oh yeah, we're missing a couple of pieces there. That's weird. Just didn't do those sections. But it wasn't going down properly, but actually we just hadn't uh, put all the pieces on, which is an interesting move. There we go. Okay, so we got the top on, and we're we're putting on one of. One of Mega's rarest pieces, because it always gets lost everywhere, and nobody has it anymore. It's a little antenna. Literally, it can just come off so easily. And this rod in here. That can't be right. Um... Oh, yeah. Goes in there. There we go. So... That is the end of step 64. The next thing we're going to be doing is the wings. we got the wings and the turbines. I'm going to take a one minute break. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. And you know what time it is when we do a little break. It's bonk time.
and he's back. Good news. My mother was baking and the recipe failed. So she had to make another batch, but we got all the crumbs, baby. <laughs> Very delicious. Okay. <laughs> the master of motion, what's Insta? Probably Instagram. Okay, so. The Pelican. The Pelican in all its glory. So again, we can move fast on this because we're building one of the wings. But while we're building the wings, we'll just collect up all the pieces for the other side. Because although we can't do the other side yet because it's mirrored, we can still collect up all the pieces. So we can then just really quickly do it. So every time I collect a piece for this, I put a piece there for the next step. And so forth. A piece for me and a piece for you. Two pieces for me, two pieces for you. Two turbines for me, two turbines for you. Is that grey block at the bottom a temporary piece? I believe it is. We'll find out. We'll find out together. We'll hold hands as we find out together. It might have been a temporary piece I, I should have already taken off. I might not be paying attention. Who knows? Two pieces for me. Two pieces for you. Honestly, when I was young, I couldn't have imagined being able to watch someone live. Like, that just wasn't a concept when I was young. Like, live streams just did not exist. <laughs> it's crazy how fast things can evolve in one person's lifetime. I can't imagine what, like, if I have kids, what, what their future will look like. It's very hard to imagine. Here's an interesting question for the chat. What big, what big technologies do you think will exist in like a hundred years time? Like what, what, what huge breakthroughs do you think will have happened in a hundred years time? Usually I don't like a build that is just basically one color the entire time. This is the exception, but maybe it's just an exception because I'm I'm nostalgia baited. Maybe it's maybe I don't actually like it. <laughs> I wonder how I wonder how heavy the set is compared to Pelican Inbound. Pelican Inbound is larger, so I imagine quite a bit. Maybe maybe this is like four fifths Pelican Inbound's weight. Robot anime babes. <laughs> Super soldiers. It's a debate, I think, whether super soldiers will exist or whether it'll just be drones. Robot cockroaches. Electric fake trees might exist. Yeah, I could see that. I think most meat that we eat won't be real meat. It'll be a mix between, uh, you know, actual vegan meat and synthesized meat. Because um, they've actually, they've made a lot of breakthroughs, I think, particularly in Korea, where you can now grow meat in a laboratory. You can take the stem cells from a chicken and you can grow chicken meat. And it's completely fine. It tastes like normal chicken. 
but there's no cruelty to animals whatsoever. It's actually if people, it, it, it's if people will actually adopt that, but we'll see. There could also be some like big food scare that forces people to adopt it. I don't know. Chat, what is your guy's favorite Halo game? Go on then. Go on then. We can vote on that. We can vote between... Uh, let's vote between... Favorite... Spin-off game. Let's do favorite spin-off game. Halo... 3 ODST... Halo Reach Halo Wars Halo Wars 2 Favorite spin-off game. I wonder which one's going to win. <laughs> if I was uh, if I was able to vote, I'd vote ODST. But I think I know which one's going to win. Twenty votes. I wonder which one's winning. Oh, Halo Reach. No surprise there. <laughs> Obviously, Halo Reach would have won that poll. It's not even fair competition that. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do multiple rounds of voting. I'll see this through to the end. We'll have our favorite. We'll leave it another couple of minutes and then I'll do round two. So now I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to do the next, the, the first three stages of the other side, because I've already got the pieces lined up. Okay. Okay, so Halo Reach clearly run one round one. Let's do the next one. Uh 
and then we'll pit off the all the other winners together at the end. So we'll start with Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo... Uh, no, we'll just do Halo CE 2 and 3 for the next one. Go. CE 2 and 3 is the next round. And then we'll move on to 4, 5, Infinite. I can predict which one's going to be the winner of this as well, of course. Um, I think it'll be more interesting to see who wins between Halo 4 and Halo Infinite. I feel like that might be a little exciting. Okay, so that's those three bits and those three bits. Now we're going to go back in time. And we're going to do stage 68. But every time we collect pieces, we're going to also collect for the other side as well. So one for me and one for you. Three for me and three for you. Two for me, two for you, two for me, two for you. This saves so much time collecting up stages in advance. And like I said, I don't think I'm ever going to do a live stream again where I don't pre collect all the bricks. Two for me, two for you. All right, I'll do the uh, next round of voting once I've got these pieces together. Hold, hold your horses, folks. I'm almost there. Okay, and the winner is Halo 3. No surprise there. Round 3. I will be interested to see who wins between Infinite and 4 with this one. Oops. Halo 4... Halo 5 Guardians Halo Infinite Go, go, go! Everyone here is just a vibe, hell yeah.
We're a great community. Vote now. Go, go, go. Twenty-one votes. I can't see the result until I go on my YouTube tab, and then I'll do. Once we've done all this voting, I'll use that other feature where you can do, where we can do a Q and A. That should be fun. A proper Q and A. Did I just lose myself? Yeah. Okay, who won round three? Ah, Halo Infinite, very nice. Halo 4's last? What? Blasphemy. Blasphemy. No way. Ah, uh, that's brutal, man. All right, well. I can't believe Halo 4 was last. That's so, that's so offensive. All right, final round is between Halo Reach Halo 3 and Halo Infinite. Let's see what you got. I can't believe Halo 5 beat Halo 4. That's ridiculous. Halo 4 is a masterpiece, man. Final round, who will come out victorious? Okay. Now we pop these two together. Bam bam. You always just hold your breath, hoping you've actually done it correctly. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that went together nicely. Cast your final votes, cast your final votes. Dude, I just I just did not collect up all the pieces there. But after this we'll do a poll uh, we'll do a a uh, a Q&A where you can ask me any questions. Okay. Now we're going to fast forward 
to where we do the same on the other with the other bricks that we already have. And the final winner is Halo Reach. Halo Infinite last. Oh man. I, I guess that that's how I would have predicted it, I guess. Alright, uh start a QA. Wait, do, how do I how does this work? Can people answer it? Um What is the greatest mega figure ever produced? So can people now answer that? Oh, nice. So people can now answer the Q&A. That's cool. Huh, I've never used that before. At least I think that's how it works. Cod is not greater than any Halo. That's just that's that's factually incorrect. All right, cool. Now the now the votes come in. I like that. I like that. That's a cool method. So the Hayabusa original Green Spartan. <laughs> that's fun. Something like a Master Chief OG. Any Helio Skrill? Yeah, the Helio Skrill's are really good. Emil, he is one of my favorite figures and I dream of owning him. The very expensive figure I threw across my room as I watched it explode. <laughs> How does this work? Uh, you just answer the question. Bender from Futurama. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a good one. The Rookie is a great one too. Most Spartans or ODSTs. Black Recon. Oh, the Black Recon from the OG Elephant set is a good answer. That's a good answer. I respect it. You have my respect. Put that together. The best pod produced mega figure between Cade, what's up, Renard Noah? Between Cade 6 from the Destiny line, mm, the Master Chief from the Fud, or the Master Chief from the Fud, or Jaeger, all solid choices. There's honestly just too many good ones to pick from. They're all very solid choices. Um, cool. Let's do. Um, hmm. What what's a good what's a good Q and A question? Uh, chat, think of a good Q and A question. Think of a good one, and uh, I shall I shall add it in. Think of a good one, and it shall be asked.
Hmm. Been a bit distracted while I'm doing this bit. Might have missed some bits. Oh yeah, I've definitely missed some bits. 100%. Best weapon megas produced, perhaps? Hmm? What is the best set? What music did play at the end of Halo Infinite? <laughs> uh, have you seen the Lego Star Wars vs. Halo series? Yes, it's very good. Very good. Um, yeah, go on. Um, best... Best painted weapon to ever be produced. Best painted weapon to ever be produced, because there really have been some good ones. I think um, the best ones all come out of the weapon pads, like the active camo weapon pad and things like that. Those ones are very good quality. We're getting there. We're certainly getting there. So, uh, shotgun painted. Halo Heroes Series 11 Spartan Laser. Now that is a good one. That is a very good one. I'm trying to get my hands on the Halo Heroes Shipmaster Let Valir, but it's so expensive. Especially the fact that I'm in I'm from the UK and trying to get it. Uh oh. Yeah, no. Um I thought I had one, maybe I don't. Um message me on uh fi find me on one of my social medias of mine and uh message me on there. I've got a I'm putting together a group chat where people can buy, sell and trade Halo Mega within the UK. So um yeah, send us a message on there. Or send us a message on any social medias. And uh, I'll get you in a place where you can hopefully buy one.
I think that's all I need. No, 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 no. Don't you speak so soon. I feel like I should be doing my homework. Well, well, can't advise you on that. You could always leave this open and just uh, listen to it a little bit while you do your homework. It's up to you. You could always compromise. Do what you think is best. You can make your own decisions. Okay, cool. Mando season three. Yes, I'm excited to watch it. Um, first of all, I'm going to uh, rewatch the second half of uh, Mando season two. Then I might rewatch the Book of Boba Fett episodes. I'm not in a particular rush to watch it right now, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I saw episode two didn't get the highest reviews ever, but episode one, people were definitely uh, eating it up. I tend to not let. I tend to try and not let reviews um, wave my opinion too much. Going to listen to all the Simon Says videos on repeat while doing my homework. Yes, do that and get me uh, get me some more watch time. Because <laughs> we need watch time to get that bread, to get monetized. And we're far away. Yes, everyone should uh, listen to the Simon Says videos on repeat. <laughs> I always like this where where there's sort of a, a 4x2 flat there and you just pop that either side of it. Just uh, seems really nice. Okay. Three here, three there, three everywhere. I didn't say no to you, Banjo, just wanted to let you know. Hmm. What do you think about ODSTs? ODSTs are the bread and butter of Halo, and I don't know why they're not in the games anymore, man. Come on. Like, why are they not in the games anymore? It kills me. Like, they've literally not been, like, in, like, any games. But clearly they're one of the most popular things about Halo, so I don't know what 343 is sleeping on there. Just don't understand it. It must, every time it must just come down to budgeting, but like, come on. They're so popular, ODSTs. It's like, you need them in your games. So again, we're just like, every time we get a piece, we're gathering some more pieces for the other side as well. He says that, but there's not going to be enough pieces here for the other side. Huh. Okay. Uh, one here, one there. One here, one there. I love ODST so much that I want to be one for Halloween. That would be dope. That would definitely be dope. Collecting up a lot of pieces right now, folks. 
pretty much like the rest of the pieces I'm just collecting up for these last section last sections. <sighs> Goodness. When you get a little tired you start to just not be able to see all the pieces very clearly. Oh no, I've already got those. Exactly, I can't see them very clearly. I feel like I've not got them when I do. Um, right, so we're missing um, a couple of pieces, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm approaching cautiously to the problem. Um, kind of seems like we're missing pieces, but it, 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 it could just be a different, a slightly different build option on the other side. Let's, um, let's clear this and have a look. So when we go to the other side, we don't want to see that we need another, yeah, another three of those. So, hmm. Okay, yeah, so on that side, do we need, do we need that? Yeah, we need a five long. Yes, we do. So, it seems like we're missing two thin five by one flats. Seems that way. I kind of want to dress up as a super stack it, stacked marine from Halo with pouches and bullet holders with my dad's old stuff when he was in the marines. You definitely could do that. I just realized that my birthday is in eight days. Well, happy birthday in eight days, my friend. Hmm. I think we are missing two pieces. They're really easy pieces to get, but it would re require me running into the attic. Huh. Oh, have I... Hmm, I'm just going to check. Have I misused the wrong piece at some point? I'm looking for a five flat that does not need to be used as a five flat. But... That might be a little tricky to identify. Or very tricky. Yeah, see does those two... Yeah, okay. There we go. I bet it's those. Let's rewind back to this hatch. Bingo! It was two six by ones, not two five by ones. So if we take those off. And give them back to the cores. Hmm, how did we actually have this? Oh yeah, we had that three weirdly sort of hanging off. <laughs> like that. Okay, we salvaged it everybody. No need to panic. No need to panic. We are back on track. Okay. Okay, where were we? Let's build this thing. Thank you for reading my comments. It means a lot because this is my first time watching your stream or anyone's stream in general. You're very welcome, Red Spawn 117. 
Oh, I just put a piece of ginger in my mouth. I actually introduced my dad to Halo, and he's enjoying it to the point where we want to play the games in chronological order. That is a great father-son bonding activity. I'm happy to hear it. It's cool that you introduced him to it as well. There we go. There we go. We're gonna dance towards the finish line now. Insert that in there. Nice. And uh, this will be 100% complete, which is great to see. Lovely. Right, other side. But luckily for us, we already have all the pieces ready to go. GG. Simon, would you kindly do a poll on other sci-fi games? Okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me about your... Other favorite sci-fi games. There we go. So Simon, would you kindly do a poll another time? Oh yeah, you just saw that. The Drax's flood, flood, flood firefight, uh, flood fight is part of mission of Halo Three. Yes, uh, it is part of Halo Three, and it looks amazing. And it's the first like specific mission-based set we've got in a long time, so it's a great step in the right direction. See what everybody's favorite sci-fi games are. Battlefront 2, good choice. Metroid Prime and Fusion, Dead Space because it was the first actual, actually scary game released. Fair enough. What is your favorite sci-fi game other than Halo? Mine has to be Portal 2 or Bioshock. Portal 2 
Uh, yeah, I haven't played enough Portal 2, but I really should. Uh, Mass Effect, my dad played the games and got me into them as well. Father some bonding over games. Always good. Always good. Simon's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Bitch, Bob! <laughs> Get out of here! Destiny, yeah, good choice. Destiny 1 or Destiny 2? This will probably be the fastest I've ever built a pelican, to be fair. And the second one is... Yeah, complete. Yes, yes, yes. Well, almost complete. Hey Simon, I've been meaning to ask a question. Go for it, man. Ask away. Destiny 2 is essential, the first game, just with some major quality of life changes. Most people I know don't view them differently, besides content that's playable. Fair enough. A weird niche game, Free Space 2. Hmm. Don't know that one. What the heck happened to the the live chat? Why did it why did it die like that? Weird. Yellow Hayabusa. Mm. Yellow Hayabusa is an elite tier figure. Okay, that's our two wings. Beautiful. That moves on to the final section, which is the two propellers at the back. So let's get all of our pieces close, and let's just smash this out real, real fast. Where can I get the Ford into Dawn in the UK? You will struggle to get the Ford into, Do Ford into Dawn anywhere. It is incredibly difficult to find. Very, very expensive set now. For good reason. I mean, it is absolutely legendary. Alright, yeah, so... The bottom... Well, one of these has to be the sticker. I don't know which one. Want to know why Chief wins? Why does Chief win? I want to say you were my entire childhood. Yes! That is amazing. That is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm honored to, uh, to help anyone out. And uh, the fact that I was people's childhood makes me uh, very, you know, motivated to continue to produce good content now because I know I'll still be the young people of this generation's childhood. And uh, I take I take it very I take it very seriously, you know.
I don't really know why I'm collecting pieces up necessarily now because I'm just this is it's all the it's all the remaining pieces in these steps, so there's not really as much of a need to collect them all up, but whatever. Just do it for the for the bants. Do it for the banter. Do it for the banter, mate. It's satisfying when you're collecting up the last pieces of all the different um, piles. And then realizing that you need... Um, no, actually, I don't need that piece. Not, at least not yet. It's one of those where you like you hold your breath towards the end where you're like, I really don't want to be missing a piece at this point. I really don't want to go into the attic and go rooting in boxes for pieces. I'd much rather just finish this off. Noble Six for real, hiding in the trenches. Noble Six is alive, I told you. Simon, you weren't my childhood, but I found your channel in 2020. It really helped me through that year. That's also amazing. Also want to be, you know, support for, 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 you know, getting through weird times like lockdowns. That's also great to hear. Hmm. Which way round do these go? Oh no, we don't actually need that yet, do we? No, we can just use plain ones. We don't need those stickered tiles yet. The only person from Noble Team that survived was June. Oh, and Noble Six, of course. What's your favorite game? My favorite game of all time is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But of course, I, I absolutely adore Halo 2. My favorite Halo game fluctuates, but I think it has to be Halo 3 overall. Where do you get your mega constructs? All over the place. All over the place. A lot of the time, uh, currently, I get them from Facebook Marketplace. Just built two identical ones of those because I know we'll need one later. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I definitely don't think June is dead. June was on the Infinity when uh, the Banished attacked. So we don't know where he is now, but he was on the Infinity. Or at least that's what I was told. There's a nice owl twi twooing outside. 
Do you know when owls twit to woo, one of the, the male and the female have different ones. One is the twit and one is the twoo. Okay, very nice. And the last pieces, we're just going to collect up the last pieces now. One here, one here, one here, one here. Oh. Is it telling me I need two of those? That's weird. Two of these, two of these. One of these, one of these. One, one. Two, two. Two, two. Huh. Two, two. Did I just do something silly here? What's going on? Oh no, see, I'm collecting up the other side there, aren't I? Yeah. Um, okay, I don't need that bit. But, seems like, so this is the last of our pieces, and it kind of seems like we're missing two, but I'm not gonna jump to that conclusion yet. I'm just gonna finish this off and see what happens. My fig my figure's favorite okay, let's let's do um start a QA. Strongest character in all of Halo. Jim was on a certain training station Future Spartans when Cortana came and blew it up after short, useless negotiations. Is that right? Can you live stream on the 17th, please? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really can't commit to that. So that sticker's facing up, and that is on the bottom section. Okay, that's one of our two turbines. And then, uh, then we're going home. Final stage. Hey Sam, uh, June is part of the installation Leonidas in Halo Infinite. Mm -mm. Here's the thing, it's, uh, Halo has so many uh, opportunities to like, you know, respect the law. Like they could have easily just brought Jun in as the, the trainer, the Spartan trainer in the, uh, the new recruitment camp. Like he could have definitely just been training the new generation of Spartans while Cortana was, was um, going haywire. haywire.
Sam, do you like Lord of the Rings? I love Lord of the Rings. Um, I just, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any interest in watching any of the new stuff. Lord of the Rings was a story that was told. I don't need to know any more about it. Um, and I, I, I respected The Hobbit when it came out. I enjoyed that enough. Um, they've just announced that there's going to be some new Lord of the Rings movies, and I'm just not uh, not that bothered about it. Just not that interested. I'll probably watch it, but um, just not that not that bothered. Home stretch, boys. We've done it. We have done it. He says. <laughs> Oops, did that the, did I do that the wrong way around? I know, yeah, that's it. Noble Six and Jerome. Interesting choices. The Grave Mind or Atriox. Okay. Noble Six, definitely Grave Mind. Cat, is it Atriox? He beat the Master Chief and Red Team in Halo Wars. Yeah, I mean, the Atriox is looking pretty good right now. He's got a good uh, resume. People know being able to defeat Chief and. Uh, being able to defeat Chief and Red Team. He's got a good resume. He's looking good. Are you ready for the final, final fight? Are you ready to finish this fight? Here we go. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 in all its glory. The UNSC Pelican. Original release. Um, arguably one of, if not still the best Pelican. I know the Pelican inbound is incredible. But uh, there's something just so nostalgic about this. And uh, and really beautiful. Send this idea to the official Halo feed people. Next Halo needs to be an expanded map of Zeta Halo. Where Chief goes to find multiple Spartans like Jerome, Locke and Noble Six. That's absolutely what it needs to be. Absolutely. Guys, we did it. We we finished the fight. We completed the UNSC Pelican. And it was all thanks to you keeping me company, keeping me sane through a long building process. But I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy that it's 100% complete. And um, just, yeah, really, really happy that you guys could all experience it with me. And yes, it is indeed banana. Yeah. The Grave Man literally caused the firing of the Halo array and killed all life except itself. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Grave Mind is the OG, the top G. So, uh, guys, I won't uh, hang about for too much longer because um, I've been working very, very long hours today and I gotta rest my bones. Welcome to our new subscriber, Diamond XD, though. Uh, Demon XD, uh, welcome to the team. Yeah, we built the, uh, we built the UNSC Pelican. Looks fantastic. Looks really fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for the support, guys. Tomorrow, I've got a huge Simon Says video coming out. Um, it's me tackling uh, bullying and giving loads of advice on uh, on bullying and how to avoid it, how to deal with it. Uh, it's a really great video, and I'm looking forward to hearing the feedback uh, from you guys on that one. And uh, tomorrow, I've also got... Uh, it might not come out tomorrow. It might come out the day after, but I've got a 
review and analysis of the new blind bags and the new Halo Heroes, so stay tuned for that. Got some new YouTube shorts and all sorts of stuff. So, as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there. Happy nostalgia. I'm just, uh, yeah. It's been a great three days. I, I live stream built the countdown two days ago, and then yesterday the Snowbound Battlescape and Versus Snowbound set. And today we finished the Pelican. On Sunday, we're going to do a mystery live stream from a new sponsor of the channel. Things are good. Things are good. Things are looking up. Things are nostalgic. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. You, uh, you have a great day. You have a great afternoon. And uh, stay safe. And I will see you in the next video.